unlike most things in our field that should not be additive, graph types is actually additive. It builds over time. So our younger learners are working with bar charts, pictographs, line plots, pie charts. And when they get that understanding of that first tier of graph types, then we can add on to it in the middle school where we're adding line charts and histograms, box plots, scatter plots, like AKA things with two variables. So if you're in middle school, early middle school, and you feel like your students have no idea what you're showing them when you're showing them a, a line graph, it is probably because they have never seen that thing before because they have just learned the Cartesian planes and they're just starting to figure out those bivariate um, graphs and what that actually means. And then we can build on it in high school and add more complex graphs into it. And so we can build the graph types that we have over time this so this resource is grade banded so you can go in if you're in upper elementary school you can pull the elementary school version of this it doesn't have bubble charts because our elementary students should be using bubble charts if you're teaching at the high school level you can go in and grab the resource that we just pulled you also have a copy of it you have created it but i've outlined how to how to talk through it and walk through it with your students 